Hello everybody, it's me again. Today we're going to uh, take a look at the Unitree LiDAR um, device that they have. And uh, as you can see, I've already got it set up here. It's the one that's spinning. And it's just a, a size comparison. It's sitting next to like the, the one of these. Now this is just a single scan. It only scans uh, 360 degrees. The LiDAR scans 360 degrees plus 90 degrees and I'll give you a little more in-depth information about that in a while so we're going to remove this and as you can see you know from this thing it's it's uh, it's running it's got a uh, LEDs on the outside that you can change the colors um, this is the results you get you get a nice you can see me in there let me see me in there there's some lag to this but I think uh, uh, it, it, it'll run quicker when it's not running in this uh, this RBIZ program. So anyway, so it does a pretty good job. Like I say, instead of just one scan of three hits 360 degrees, this one is giving you a 360 degree scan plus a 90 degree scan. So how that looks is. Here's the, uh, from the website, this is the Unitree 4D LiDAR L1, cost $349. I got one, I, I ordered one, and it comes from China or something, so it takes a while to get here, and it, and it was dead on arrival, so I had to turn around and send it back, and, you know, and, the, and, and when they spin, there, it's just it's so small, and it's spinning fairly fast, uh, you got to really kind of lock it down, because it'll vibrate and move around a lot. And then as you see, this is how it works. You know, so this this rotates around, and then this rotates around too. So it puts up a pretty big scan. I think I'm pretty impressive because, like, like I say, the other one I had that's ninety nine dollars, and it would just give one scan, uh, one line, and this one kind of does the whole thing. So that's really nice. And I've got it hooked up to my uh, uh, my Jetson AGX Orin. And uh, it has this has no problem running it. And what I did is I'm running uh, my ROS two. I'm running a Foxy ROS two, and that's what I'm uh, have this running through. And then uh, uh, this gives them more little detailed information. But I, I'm kind of curious. I like look really close at it. I know with the other lidars, there's a, a port that sends out the laser, and there's one that sees it and returns it. I can't seem to find that here. It's all covered. But it seems to be doing a, a job. It's like 360 degrees. It's a 360 degrees by 90 degrees omnidirectional, and uh, it works. It works really good. I mean, I, I'm impressed on what it does. So there's a way you can make the the cloud more dense, but. Uh, I haven't I'm, I'm still working I just got it a couple days ago so the second one I got a couple days ago and then uh, this is their robots they have their, I don't know if they put it on their robots more of that and then let's see some specs see like right here here's a good impression of how it scans so that's really good I mean it's only $349 to get something that will scan like that um, generally, you're looking like a thousand, couple thousand dollars to get something like this. Compact size, small. Yes, it is small, and it's not when it spins. It's not very balanced very well, so you have to really like lock it down. Um, this bunch of ideas what to put it on, and like here's kind of some examples: uh, Unitree, a depth camera, wide angle 3D radar, and some of the. Uh, specs when you compare them it sees pretty far away 30 meters it's got a, a x x so x, x three axis acceleration and gyroscope feedback um, there's two models you can get i don't know about the other model the other model is more expensive it's called a like a remote measurement i i kind of don't know what it does and then that's pretty much it so but uh it's actually pretty impressive, you know. Can you see me in there? See me in there. It does lag a little bit. 
but I think that uh, has to do with the program. And it's giving you a really good scan of the room. So, and actually you'll see through, there's a door right there in my room. It's actually seen through the door and seeing the back door of the other room. If I move, see it'll, it'll make up. So I'm kind of blocking it a little bit. But uh, overall, I'm pretty impressed, and you know, I'm, really, I'm gonna uh, uh, put it through its paces. I'm gonna build a program and and, and for my AGX Orin and kind of see how they work together, and uh, you know, hopefully it won't uh, peter out on me because it is kind of it's it's because it's so tiny and it does such a lot of things, and it's really kind of delicate, so. And you can, oh, and you can see, you can change the, there's LEDs right here. You can change how they sequence. And uh, when you first start it up, the internally, it'll start spinning internally before it starts, the outside starts spinning. So that's kind of interesting. But all in all, I mean, like, it's only $349. And like I say, the other one I had, the one that does one scan, 360 degrees, that's like $99. So, and this is a, 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 a lidar is actually like a, a laser finder so it's pretty good I'm all right I guess that's it you guys so I'll keep you posted when I uh, uh, get more in-depth oh I know what I was gonna say and the instructions are kind of scant too so I'll give you a link to uh, the, the github repo on like where all this stuff is if you if you get one of this like I say that you're, you're kind of on your own with this so but it, it does seem to I'm pretty impressed on the results it gives. All right, thank you, bye.